What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and the last week I did not upload a video because I was on vacation and got a good little time with my family in South Carolina as you could tell by the vacation boogaloo vibes that we are on here today. Um, I have an unboxing, like the title says, everything with that, but I do want to go into real quick, last week's or two weeks ago video, video, the Airsoft Collection, you guys did awesome, you guys bought so much stuff, I sold literally like 40 packages, I took them to the post office the other day, I'll throw a picture right here, um, I appreciate you guys, I do not make anything on YouTube, I literally don't even make enough on YouTube sometimes per month, that I even get paid per month, sometimes it's like once every two months, so it helps for me to be able to sell stuff to buy your guys' collections and then piece it out a little bit and help me pay student loans, so I really appreciate that, if you want to go back and watch that video, Video, I still have some of the stuff available I think like at least half the stuff is still there so I will keep the description updated for like a month and then after that so if you guys want to go buy some stuff I do still have some stuff there um, I also want to talk about my real guns so I get questions all the time Alec Mac one why do you spend money on airsoft stuff when you don't have real guns why do you spend all this on airsoft one I love airsoft two it's my hobby like this is what I do this is kind of what I do for a living right now um, this and then work part-time but I did get my Glock 17 Gen 5 back. I showed this like uh, about two months ago, but I got it upgraded. So I got a Cerakote job, I got an Agency Arms Trigger, I got some upgrades with the mag release and the slide catch. I got the Trigicon Armor, like I said. Um, the Burnt Bronze Cerakote I think looks really, really good. I do want to get this pistol stippled still. So I'm going to get stippled and then I'm actually going to go with a full Burnt Bronze look. But I just got this back from Missouri um, just in time for Justin's wedding. And so I'm super excited to mess around with this one. I've put like 200 rounds on it before I upgraded it and I put like 200 rounds on it this weekend and so it's awesome. I do still have to completely sight in this and I think I am going to pick up some iron sights from Trigicon as well. And then the AR-15, another quick update. Uh, so this is just the Geisley front end. Uh, some of you guys really like this real seal stuff and I want to do videos on these at some point and then do some more real seal stuff because I love it. Got a Surefire War Comp on here. This build has been something that I've been working on for like three years honestly. So it is ATF compliant. I do have it as an AR pistol. This is a SB Tactical Brace. Don't worry, ATF, I'm not on anything. Um, I got a BCM grip here. I mean, it's over 26 length inches wide, so I'm allowed to have vertical foregrip for those of you that don't know. Um, it's got a palmetto body, AR-15. I use the P-Mags. I really like these Magpul P-Mags a lot with the windows. Um, I got a Trigicon red dot up here as well. Actually, it's kind of an amber dot, which is pretty cool. It's like a Trigicon reflex, and I got it in a trade. And so I just kind of threw it on here. I know it's a little bit big. I have some Strike Industries and some Armaspec externals, just kind of stuff that I'm running, Magpul ASAP. And then I'm going to get this boy stippled as well. But let's get into the unboxing. All right, up first, we have the Evike Dad Swag Pack. So this is like the last swag pack that they released. I did miss out on the 4th of July mystery box. Happy birthday, happy 4th, 4th of July America today. You guys are great. Um, I did miss out on that one. I was actually on the water with one of my friends paddle boarding, and so I missed the drop, whatever. Um, but we got World's Greatest Dad. Oh, yo, no way. This was like 20 bucks, and I got a pistol. So that's kind of sick. So this looks like it's, I actually believe I had one of these that I just sold in the box, and this is like the Saima Elite Force um, AEP blowback. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So it does not look like it comes in the normal box. It just came with this, but that's a pretty cool little starter. CO2 airsoft gun. So it's CO2, but non-blowback, it looks like, huh, not bad for 20 bucks. And along with that order to get free shipping, I end up ordering a pistol grip for Justin. I got another Christmas Max hop up just because I think these look so cool. And then I actually picked up an Eagle Force Tracer from Evike. This was only like $25. I have no idea how good it's gonna be but for 25 bucks, it's pretty affordable. Up next is actually one of the guns that I traded for the collection video. So I traded somebody, a lot of you guys will do like partial trades and then give me cash. And I love getting to kind of mess with new guns. So we did include the box. And then this is like a Crytek SDP, I think is what they are, or it might be like the, cause they have this stock, but it's like their pistol variant. And then he's actually run a tight bore all the way to the end of the suppressor. And then I sold this actually already to a buddy of mine named Norm in Canada. He buys a lot of my stuff. And so I sold this to him, but I kind of want to show you guys for the video because I think this was an awesome build and he did a really good job. I threw a Trigicon MRO on it when I got it just for pictures because I think it looks cool, but I've never owned one of the stubby Crytax before. So I thought I'd kind of show it for the video. Alrighty, last gun before the big boy box. I actually bought this off eBay. This is a Polar Star Jack 416. I really, really like this gun. I saw it and I was like, dang, that's sweet. Um, and then this stock is actually a real steel stock. So I was kind of surprised. I was like, that's a new stock. I've never seen that. So I'm actually going to be running this. This is a fab defense. They're actually made in Israel. This is like $140 stock on an airsoft gun, which is absurd. It is a real stock. 
Um, so I'm gonna throw this on my Crytek and start running that on my main gun. Um, it's the 416C, so it's the compact version as a KAC flash right up here. Some really nice rail covers. A Monstrum Red Dot, it's pretty nice. Um, and then internally it does have the jack, like I said, and then it has a Proin hop up. I'm not sure exactly what nub, and then I believe it's an Orgo wide bore barrel on it because it's a little bit bigger. I wish some of the companies would do a better job of like, even if just put like Orgo or something. Sometimes with these brass barrels, it's so hard to know the different brands of them but this is a sweet gun. I figured I'd show you guys this because some of you are asking, hey, Alec, where do you get some of your guns? I, there are a lot of things that I'll buy on eBay that I don't even show in the videos. I try and do the collection videos, but if there's something sweet that pops up on eBay, I'll buy it, I'll test fire it, mess around with it a little bit, and then resell it. All right, what all of you guys have been waiting for. I'm gonna open this up and then we'll get to it, obviously. Oh man, they are dumb thick. All right, boys, we live with it. So up first in this, this is a dude named Alan sent me this. Um, ooh, he's got some magazines. So I bought this collection from him. I'll do the same thing that I always do. If you guys guess exactly what I spent specifically on this video, I've had you guys win like 20 patches in the past few months. So if you guess exactly what he spent on this, I will give you, it does end in a zero or a five like normal. Um, but we got some mags. So these are the e-bike BAMF mags. I've actually heard these are like the second best mags besides the GMP or high RPS mags. So he's got four of them. He's got some KWA mags, which kind of suck. And then the best mags around, the GMP high RPS mids. He's got five of those in black as well. All right, up next, I believe is an SNT or Lancer Tactical, one of their uh, polymer series. Jared actually really likes these. These apparently have the MOSFETs in there. I think these are, yeah, you can tell the micro switch. So there it is completed. Um, it's like an M4A1 kind of typical style it does not have the mag catch in there maybe it's in there but it's got a rotary style hop up and these guns are super super affordable jared puts like an asg motor in here and they work really really well he said the only thing needs upgraded is a motor for a little bit and then sometimes the hop ups aren't great but for 120 bucks honestly you guys kind of can't beat this up next gun number two is an elite force m4 cqb of some sort not actually sure which model this is but it does come with a quad rail system and then this one actually looks like it's in really good shape. Both of these guns look like they're in really good shape. Another typical just polymer body M4. I believe this is the Amoeba, the one with the Amoeba internal gearbox. You can tell it does have a little bit different clicking. Um, and these are the Amoeba style stocks, or maybe these Elite Force style stocks. I'm not sure exactly what the OAM is, but it does look like everything is Amoeba on the external internal part. It feels like one of their plastic ones. And I think he said he got both of these guns so far in mystery boxes. But this is a nice little weapon, nice little starter gun. Elite Force makes some good stuff. They are a little bit heavier price wise than those, but they do have a little bit nicer externals for the price range. We got three more KWA K120s. These mags feel awesome externally, but the springs, for any of you that have used them, they don't feed past like a 0.25. And if you leave them loaded like some mags are, it's not good. I just wish they would put heavier springs in them. I don't know if they're ever planning on changing that. But externally they feel awesome internally eh. and last but certainly not least is one of the sharp bros m4s those of you know i love these guns i think they look awesome externally i think they feel really good externally as well they are an aries amoeba style gun it like kind of likes looks like he went with a lot of that stuff um they have the amoeba stocks but i think the warthog engravings on the lowers just look so good and then i really really like the front the fact that they run m lock and some other stuff he's got a fortis shift grip on here as well and then it looks like it kind of comes stock with this amplifier which i think is pretty cool but it's a nice gun i know this was a little bit smaller collection than normal that's why i want to throw some of the other guns i've got on ebay there and i did get to play at splatter park this past weekend so i met a few dudes that were super cool um, there's a few of them that like I got to interact with, specifically like Charles and some of the boys. Um, it was awesome. It was so cool to be able to go out and play. It's the first time I played in like a year. So hopefully I'm able to upload a gameplay video next week. However, I did have some issues recording. I bought a zoom cam from Brain Exploder and the one video that I got at the beginning that was like the best game I played, I left the lens cap on because I haven't played slash filmed in like a year, which sucks so bad. And then the rest of the day, my camera kind of overheated for my zoom cam. So I don't know if I have a whole lot of usable footage, but if you guys want to see gameplay footage, I would really appreciate you commenting that. Say, just say gameplay, um, because I really want to get into that. And I think that's how I can grow on YouTube. I know I do these unboxings a lot and I like them, but if I'm gonna ever grow on YouTube, I have to play consistently. But this has been Alec Mac 101. I appreciate you guys a ton. Have an awesome 4th of July weekend. I will see you next week, hopefully with a gameplay video. Bye-bye. 
All right, listen up, folks. It's your boy, Battle Buddy Bird, back at it again. I'm just here to tell you guys to buy your buy your guns from Alchemac 111. You better do it fast because I don't know what the world's going to do tomorrow. So buy your dang deer, done deer guns, and uh, y'all have a safe uh, rest of your night. <laughs>